five centuries of domestic architecture survive in Richmond. They demonstrate how, over the years, different dwellings were built to accommodate a variety of residents, from royalty to artisans, from the wealthy to the needy. King Henry VII built a palace in Richmond, the remains of the oldest buildings surviving in the borough. There had been a palace on the site in the Middle Ages, but Henry's building remained a royal residence until the 17th century. Queen Elizabeth died in his privy lodgings in 1603. After the execution of Charles I in 1649, it was gradually demolished. Only the gateway and gatehouse and part of the wardrobe remain. The presence of royalty in Richmond meant nobles and courtiers built their houses round about. One, Sir Thomas Vavasour, built a mansion on the borders of Ham and Petersham in 1610, which was later called Ham House. It acquired its current appearance in 1671, when the Duke and Duchess of Lauderdale made alterations. London merchant Samuel Fortry built his large red house in what is now Kew Gardens, in the newly fashionable Dutch style. In the 18th century, it was rented by Queen Caroline to supplement the accommodation of Richmond Lodge, the royal residence that stood in today's old deer park. George III later bought the Red House, and the house eventually became Kew Palace. Richmond continued to attract the nobility and gentry. It was said that by the late 17th century, half the population of Petersham were duchesses. A number of fine houses stood there, including the lawyer Sir Thomas Jenner's Montrose House, and opposite, Rutland Lodge, built in the 1720s for his daughter. The rapidly developing mercantile class of London were attracted to the open riverside spaces and fresh air of Richmond with its aristocratic inhabitants. John Knapp, haberdasher and assistant governor of the Hudson's Bay Company, built Marshgate House, its lower floor hidden from the street by sloping land at the rear. Trumpeter's House incorporated part of the Royal Palace in its hall. The house, built for the diplomat Richard Hill, stands on the site of the Tudor Middle Gate, which was once adorned by two trumpeting figures, which now stand in the garden. In later times, Prince Metternich and Giuseppe Marconi lived there. On the other side of the palace stands Maze of Honor Road, a development by local builder John Honor and landowner William Walmsley. The Prince of Wales, later George II, rewarded their speculation renting the houses for his wife Caroline, ladies in waiting in the 1720s. Perhaps Richmond's finest house is Sudbrook House in Petersham, home of the Richmond Golf Club for over a century. It was designed for John, Duke of Argarten, by the leading 18th century architect, James Gibbs. White Lodge in Richmond Park was commissioned by King George I as a hunting lodge from the architect Roger Morris. It was then enlarged in the 1750s and 1800s. It was briefly the home of the future King George VI and Queen Elizabeth in the 1920s, but is now home to the Royal Ballet Lower School. Many fine 18th century townhouses were built by local middle-class entrepreneurs. 21 Kew Green was put up in 1720 by the builder Thomas Howlett for his own use then sold to the Prince of Wales's gardener, John Dillman. Oak House on Richmond Green was constructed for William Collins, a local brewer, in 1753, the front part rebuilt by his son around 1768. Royalty's web stretched wide over the borough. The royal pages, Frederick and Lewis Albert, lived at numbers 65 and 67 Kew Green, in a five-house row built between 1728 and 1737, by Robert Merton, a member of the Salters Company. And the King's playing card maker, Christopher Blanchard, lived at number three, the terrace on Richmond Hill, dating from 1768. Richmond's wealthy inhabitants established a tradition of caring for the needy and Richmond has six groups of historic almshouses. Hublon's almshouses, built for the relief of poor women, 
was set up by the sisters Rebecca and Susanna in 1758, and are Richmond's oldest surviving houses of this kind. Over a century later, the Tolomach Arms Houses were opened in Ham, built in the antique style to provide homes to three married couples and three single people. The coming of the railway to Richmond in the 1840s changed the nature of the town as it became a dormitory suburb. Villas, mostly semi-detached, proliferated over Richmond Hill in such streets as Friar Style Road and Montague Road. However, as the town grew, not all houses were grand or Italianate. Estates of small artisan dwellings, such as in the Alberts, were built to accommodate working families. Largely named after members of Queen Victoria's extensive family, this area was much renovated after the 1960s. The Manor Grove Estate, 60 single cottages and six dwellings of upper and lower flats, was called the Richmond Experiment. An outcome of social legislation in 1892, it was considered an early and successful exercise in council housing, launching a new era of welfare provision. Some 80 years later, the Richmond Church's Housing Trust commissioned sheltered housing in Tree Close Petersham from architects Manning, Clamp and Partners. It sits within the garden of a surviving Georgian house. Shortly after this, Richmond Parish Lands Charity commissioned affordable housing built in three phases from local architects Darborn and Dark and Hutchinson, Locke and Monk for the London and Quadrant Housing Association. These low-rise houses, maisonettes, and sheltered homes in Queen's Road are set among trees near Richmond Park, comfortably enjoying continuity between today and Richmond's past. still standing and occupied in Richmond exemplifies how architectural fashions over the centuries have changed. Richmond's royal palace was constructed by Henry VII to replace a medieval residence on the same site which burned down in 1497. When the stone-built hall, chapel and royal apartments were demolished in the later 1600s, the materials were used for the stone quarry. But the outer buildings were of typical Tudor brickwork. Henry's Gateway and Gatehouse have survived, albeit altered by the addition of an upper story to the Gateway in 1597. 